is infinite banking a scam? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through the concept of infinite banking. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time we come out with brand new videos. And next, are you trying to level up your infinite banking efforts? <laughs> if so, check us out on Patreon where we teach you how to incorporate infinite banking into your lifestyle and we don't teach this anywhere else. So head on over to patreon.com forward slash wealth nation. Yes, now let's jump right into the video. Is infinite banking a scam? This is one question that we've been asked the most about infinite banking and prior to us getting involved with the concept of infinite banking when doing our research this is one thing that came up the most mm -hmm. is it a scam mm -hmm. yeah i would have to say when we first found out about infinite banking we were like this sounds too good to be true yep. <laughs> and how in the world can this happen but the fact of the matter is we knew it was possible because when we were in real estate one of our deals was funded through an infinite bank or a policy designed for infinite banking. Right. So we knew that the money was there, but we just didn't understand the whole concept. And as we researched and, and tried to reach out to our friends who are lawyers and financial planners and CPAs, everybody was like, oh no, mm -hmm. you should never do that. And we were like, well, we kind of did it, so how does it work? <laughs> so um, I think that was one thing that helped us is since we had had a transaction actually happen through the infinite banking process, we were like, no, there's something else to this. Right. Um, and so one thing that I think that we realized that the infinite or that the financial industry shy away from is because of commissions mm -hmm. and because of our dependence on the financial institutions in general. Yeah, and now that you say commissions, that's one thing that we see a lot or people comment saying, oh, insurance agents make a ton of money. Yeah. Well, if you are designing policies for infinite banking, you actually take a 60% cut on your commissions because of the fact that you're designing policies for the, the client. client in mind versus the agent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that 60% goes to the client, not the agent. So right. that's one thing, commissions, and, and we're not saying that this is a driving force, but money is involved, you yeah. know? And the second piece of it is the financial institutions. If we as a people were independent from the financial institutions, what would their purpose be for? Yeah. Besides checkings and savings account, I guess. Well, if, if let's say everybody paid their debts back, then our economy wouldn't move. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So again, everything revolves around money, and that's what we found. And debt. Yeah, we, debt, totally. And that's what we found has been this underlying current mm -hmm. of as far as why the, the infinite banking isn't preached and shouted from the, the rooftops, mm -hmm. um, because it's all about teaching financial independence. And our current financial state is all about being dependent with the banks. Right. So we need to figure out how to break free from that. And by having this education, it allows us to seek and, and, and strive for that independence. Yeah, and I think a lot of people think that we're saying to do infinite banking and don't do anything else. Yeah. You do, infinite banking is a tool yeah. to- Yeah, good point to add to everything else that you're doing. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing real estate investing, we're not saying to not do real estate investing. We're mm -hmm. saying to do infinite banking and do real estate investing. Yeah, put a little sizzle on that real estate investing. <laughs> exactly, because what, what you're able to do is you're able to add to this. This is an add-on that you're able to do where you can make more money because mm -hmm. the growth inside your policy is growing and your investment is growing. So you put yourself in a better position to have both. Yeah, I'm so glad that you said that. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, when people hear about infinite banking, the first thing they think is, is this an, an investing tool? And no, this is a banking tool. Right. All we're talking about is taking money, that your, your income, putting it into a policy, allowing it to grow at the 4%, and then using that money to continue doing what you are doing, um, wh whether it be investing or whatever the case may be. Yeah. So is infinite banking a scam? No, it is not a scam. It is a concept. It is a strategy to get ahead. It is mm -hmm. a strategy for financial independence. And we feel that so many people are leery about the concept because, again, we're preaching independence. Right. And when it comes to infinite banking, you can get someone that designs the policy for you wrong, like using, like we don't recommend using IULs. But we, we don't personally. Right. But we've come across people who say they do infinite banking, but they use IULs. Mm -hmm. We don't necessarily recommend using those. Mm -hmm. and, and the reason why we don't is because IULs, your cash flow 
is fluctuating. Yes. And for us, we need our cash flow to be uh, consistent, growing at a consistent rate of return because that is going to affect the money that we need to invest and to do other things. Right. If, if you want to invest in a stock market, do it separately. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not with your policy. Uh, so we hope that this information was helpful. Again, infinite banking is not a scam. It is a way to be free and independent. <laughs> yes. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure you check out our Patreon page where we go over additional uh, ways to use infinite banking in your particular lifestyle. Exactly. So what do you need to do? Own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.